Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to discuss about width column and width column renamed in a PySpark. So with the help of the width column, if you want to add a new column based on the certain logic, so you can do that. Suppose you want to modify the existing column, then also you can do with the help of the width column. For taking example, suppose what actually I want, I want to create a new column. So if you had to create a new column, then what actually you will use? You will use a width column. Suppose my requirement is like I want a new column name as a ID one and whatever the value is present into the order ID, right? I want to do a plus hundred and I want to create a new column name as a ID one. So that is possible with the help of the width column. Let me show you what, what I mean. So suppose I want to create a new column. So what I have to write D dot with column this I will write now what is the column name you want to create I want to create a new column name as a ID one now what is the logic I want to put a logic if any in this particular order ID column so we already have an order ID column what actually I want to do in order ID column whatever the value is there right I want to do a plus hundred and that value we will store into the ID one my requirement is like I want to create a new column ID one and what will be the value in the ID one whatever the value which is already available in order ID column I want to do a plus hundred so that is what actually I want to do now if you are using a call here then what you have to do you have to import a library so for that what you have to write from PySpark dot from PySpark dot SQL dot functions functions import call you can write or star if you write a star all the function will be important so what I have written from PySpark.SQL.Function import star what actually I am doing df.width column id1 I am creating and what is the value order id plus 100 I am doing now if I show you if you want to see a data what you can write you can write a display and whatever the value is here now let me execute and let me let's see whether the new column is getting created or not so if you will see order ID is already present 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What actually we have done? We have created a new column ID 1. And you can see whatever the value rate, whatever the value which is already available in a order ID, it has done the plus 100. So you can see 101, 102, 103. So if you want to create a new column, what actually you can use? You can use a with column. So this is the one of the use case. So based on the certain logic, you can create a new column. Now suppose my requirement is like I want to create a new column name as a uh, state this is the new column I want to create and by default I want to give the name as a uh, random name I want to give so how actually I can do that so suppose I want to create a new column so then what actually I have to write a df dot with column I have to write what is the column name you want to create I want to create a column name as a state and what is the by default value you want to pass so for that we will use a lead function and uh, suppose by default value you want to pass uh, ABC so this is the new column you want to pass into this state column then you have to write so L lit is also one of the function so that is available in a from pyspark.sql.function here only so if you have if you have used the import star right then again you do not have to import you can use directly so i am writing df dot with column state lit abc now if i'll execute this if i'll execute this so what i have to write display and if i'll execute this then what will happen new column state should be created the new column should be created the name is state let's see whether it's working or not so what we have done we have created a new column state and you can see by default value abc it has passed so like this actually we can use now suppose if you want to create a new column based on the certain logic then we are using a with column now your requirement is like in the existing column itself you want to do a changes like suppose in order id column whatever the value is there you want to do a minus one in this case what actually you can use you can use a width column only so with the help of the width column you can also do that in an existing column only you have to do any changes then what you have to write you have to pass the existing column name so order id only i want to do a changes and what actually you want to do a changes that you have to specify what actually i want to do in a order id column in an order ID column, I want to do a um, minus one. Order ID column, I want to do a minus one. And if you want to see the result display, we have to write. And here also I will write. And if I'll execute this, in this case, what will ha happen? 
we have mentioned the order id right so any any transformation whatever transformation we are doing right it is applying in the existing column itself so you can see in the existing column order id only it has done the minus one so you can see 0 1 2 3 like this it's coming previously it was starting from a 1 2 3 4 so it has done the minus one so if you want to create a new column based on certain logic or if you want to modify the existing column then what actually we use we use a with column i hope you got the idea now let's see about the with column rename so with the help of the with column rename by the name itself you can understand if you want to change any of the column name suppose uh, this is the order id right this column i want to change the name i want to change as a id so what actually i have to write df dot with column rename df dot with column rename and uh, what is the column name which you want to change this is the order id column right this i want to change as a id this i want to change as a id so i will write like this and if you want to see the result then you have to do display and here also we have to write and you have to execute now let's see whether it's working or not so with the help of the with column rename you can do the changes you can see the order id column got changed as a id so with the help of the with column rename you can do the renaming of the existing column and with the help of the with column if you want to do any kind of the transformation in a column level you can do that if you want to add a new column or if you want to modify the existing column you can use a with column i hope you got the idea please do practice